Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Jordan Young, AKA Sneakonomics. And in today's video, I have once again, a very special piece of content for you. It's not so much a video to watch, but rather an opportunity to grasp. It's an opportunity for you to add inexorably to your own personal joy. That's right, folks. Today, you once again get to watch me remove some shoes from a box. If you like this kind of spine tingling content, feel free to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button. And if you don't want to do either of those things, absolutely fine. I can understand that you can indeed piss off. No, 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 no. I'm only joking, but kind of not really. Now, as you can probably tell, I have properly dressed up for this video. I have got my Adidas top on. I have got my Adidas track pants on. I've even got the Adidas hat on that I wear every other video. Purumana. Purumana. What's this? This is going to be, I think, the first pair of Adidas that I have reviewed on my channel. I have in my possession the Adidas Adifoam Superstars. Just a quick note on the pronunciation. We're going to say Adidas. Do we not need to say Adifoam? Or is it Adifoam? In the pronunciation of Adifoam, are we not at that point conceding the correct pronunciation for Adidas is Adidas? In any event, the box is blue and the box is big and it has got three stripes going across and it's very much similar to other boxes in terms of the angles, the overall quadrilateral stroke cuboid structure, it is geometrically identical to other boxes from other brands. Breaching the box and breaking in, you are met with some paper and of course the shoes in question. And so here they are, the Adifoam Superstars. The first reaction you get when you take these out of the box is just how chunky they are. There isn't like that much flex in them. I kind of thought that they might be a little bit more flexible and have a little bit more bounce, but they're actually quite firm. They of course take their inspiration from arguably one of the foundational sneakers to all of sneaker culture, the Adidas Superstar. And what I really like is down the nose or down the facade, should we say, of the shoe, you have the hallmarks of the shell toe design. I don't know about you guys, but I am someone who quite happily just skipped the entire foam runner trend. I just sat on the sidelines and acted as a spectator to that whole wave. Even though I stuck to my guns, I sort of looked on a little bit curiously, wondering if I wasn't missing out. And so when you had the combination of a slip-on foam superstar, I was sold. The other thing that sold me on these was the price points. They were 70 pounds or 75 pounds, something like that. And now that I've got them in hand, I must say I am quite pleased with them. They have pretty much sold out most places in the white colorway, but the black colorway is still sitting in most places in a full size run. I anticipate this to be the kind of sneaker that they're going to replenish stock with. And I can see them bringing out different colorways in time. This is essentially, in my opinion, going to be the replacement for the Adidas Foam Runner. I could be wrong about that, but that's the way I see this shoe. And so the big question is out there, I'm sure among you all, how do these fit and are they comfortable? And so let me throw these on foot for you and take you through a series of different wear test scenarios, wherein we will do a little bit of shuffling, a little bit of sea walking and maybe even some robot. So let's check these out.
First and foremost, the fit. I got a 10 UK, which is a half size up to what I normally wear and they fit fantastically. So if you are in the market for a pair of these, I would recommend going a half size up. They do run quite narrow and they are very form fitting, meaning that if you get a size too small, you're going to be cramped through the forefoot and the back line is potentially going to cut up into your heel. So half size to a full size up for sizing. As for the ride, they are very secure on foot despite being a slip on. They do have kind of like a narrow mouth which does sort of cinch in and grip into the foot. So you do feel secure in these. They are soft underfoot, they're nicely cushioned and they are nice and light. So they've got a nice well-rounded level of comfort to them. In terms of breathability, they do have a couple of perforations here on the medial side of the sneaker allowing for a bit of breathability. So you don't need to worry about your tootsies getting too stifled while you're inside these. Now another plus for this sneaker is they are made with renewable and recyclable materials including sugarcane so if you are environmentally conscious or sustainably aware they are a pretty cool shoe featuring some pretty ethical manufacturing processes. And there we have it that is my honest review I genuinely think these are a really really cool shoe they are light they are comfy they are practical, they are affordable, they are available. They've got the absolute classic superstar silhouette mixed with the up-to-date, very current, very trendy foam technology that has come about in a fairly sustainable and environmentally friendly way. I think they look really cool on foot and they're basically just ticking off all of the boxes. In fact, this is probably one of the coolest sneakers that I have picked up in some time and ironically enough, it is also one of the cheapest cheapest. So if you are in the market for a pair of these to replace maybe your foam runners or your Crocs or you're just looking for another pair of casual banger shoes to be able to wear around the house and maybe jump down to the shops in or just wear casually this is a really good option and I love the white colorway so these are a dub from me what do you guys think thank you very much as always for taking the time to watch the video I hope you enjoyed the review as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button now I've got some more cool videos coming out this week cool of course by my own self-admission and hope that you can join me for those so have yourselves a lovely day don't forget to hit the like before you go and I'll see you all on the next video take care for now and peace